I'm Heather Bird with Metro Mix in the Tennessee, and tonight we're at the Skirmerhorn Symphony, where some of the biggest names in the industry are being honored by their peers for the ACM Honors. You look just absolutely gorgeous tonight, and you are performing. Yes, ma'am. And you've got a new single coming out, Cowboy Casanova. Do you know any Cowboy Casanovas? I think we all know some Cowboy Casanovas. Everybody's like, "Who? who's it about? Who's it about? And I'm like, it doesn't have to be about, like, one person. I would never, like, glorify some bad guy in a song, you know? So, um, yeah, we all know them, whether or not we've dated them. We all know other people who have, so we've, we've all been exposed. And you are being honored tonight with a special award. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, they call it. <laughs> no pressure. They call it. Yeah, no pressure. They call it the Pioneer Award. Um, yeah, it's a great honor. It's an uh, it's an unusual sounding. When they say Pioneer, uh, my first thought is I should be older, you know. Uh, and I keep jokingly saying this, possibly dead be, before getting this award, if if getting it at all. But, uh, you are performing tonight. Tell me about that. I am performing um, a Kenny Rogers duet. It was a huge hit for him and Dottie West, Every Time Two Fools Collide. And I'm performing with Jamie Johnson tonight. Can't do a duet alone, so I told him to get up here. We're singing a song together. <laughs> you are being honored tonight with the Poets Award. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's my honor to be here and receive it. And tell me, as a songwriter, where do you find inspiration? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's something that you can't just uh, conjure up at will, but it comes around and you try to grab it out of the air, I guess. Do you remember the first song that you ever wrote? No. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I wrote songs when I was very young, like in grammar school. and uh, But uh, the last... Uh, 3,900 stuck, you know, so I don't know, I think it's 399 songs with BMI, so it's, uh, it's been an amazing career. Yes, I'm performing, I'm doing a Merle Haggard song called Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Star, and a Hank Jr. song called Any More Love Songs, and I just met Patty Loveless, that was awesome, so it's not, it's already great, not, I haven't even gone in the building yet. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, you just got off the road with Kenny Chesney, and I heard that he pulled a little prank on you. He did. He, uh, his crew guys all took the took my bad boy buggy and my golf cart out on the road apart and disassembled it and brought all the parts to the stage. It's really annoying, but, <laughs> but hey, you feel like you're not loved if you don't get pranked a little, right? Tell me, you're performing tonight for Merle Haggard and tomorrow for the Dalai Lama. Which one are you more nervous about? <laughs> well, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm not nervous really for, you know, either one of them. Um, I feel good about it tonight. I've, I'm a big Merle fan. I've been a Merle fan all my life, and I've sang his songs since I can remember singing, so, you know, it's not like I had to learn something, you know, for tonight. It's not like I had to learn a song. So, uh, but to get to play for him is pretty cool. I, I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like I'm playing for an old friend, you know. Well, I am performing uh, Blame It On Your Heart, which was a uh, thank you, Harlan Howard, who we are honoring. Um, that without him calling me up and saying, you know, I have this song and you really, re really need to record it. And he sent it over to me and we were in the studio and it was rough around the edges on a little cassette tape, and I still have it to this very day uh, of this song. And I am so thankful that he, you know, thought so much of me to call me and just say, this is a song for you. And it ended up being a number one. I was told by Johnny Cash years ago that one of these days, we did movies together, so but one day I would hear a song that would be impossible for me not to record. And that song would be the song that would get me back into country music. And a couple months ago I heard the song, it's called The Promise. And I thought, oh my God, that's the song. Because Johnny would say, you're gonna hear it, you're gonna know it, right there in this part of your brain. He was goofy, okay? <laughs> you're gonna hear it, you're gonna know it right there. And that's going to be the song that's going to kick everybody's butt and get you back into country music where you need to be. I uh, get to present uh, the Musicians Awards tonight, so that's totally awesome because you know uh, everybody sees uh, you know sees our uh, the artists all the time on the front of the stage, but actually the artists wouldn't even be on the front of the stage if it wasn't for everybody behind them. I'm presenting uh, pretty much the the people that give us gigs to play out there, industry folks like uh, the the venues the club of the year, venue of the year, promoter of the year, uh, the, the Romeo Award, and um, just a, it's, 
a great thing for the Academy to ask you to represent them in presenting these awards.